guys, so for today's video, I'm talking all about closet basics. So I did a version of this video maybe like a year and a half, two years ago, but I feel like my style has changed a lot and I've learned a lot of new ways to style like really basic pieces, gotten a new foundation for like building all my outfits. So I wanna share that with you guys. Just some of the pieces I think that are essential to have in your closet to build pretty much any outfit. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more fashion videos, be sure to let me know in the comments. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so starting off with the tops, first of all, I think having like some neutral colored tank tops are just a great way to like build any outfit. I wear them all the time. Generally just like some plain tank tops, plain bodysuits, they'll go with everything and you can wear them with like tons of different pairs of pants or even just like a regular pair of jeans. It's like a whole outfit. So the one I probably wear the most is this black tank top. This is from H&M. First of all, I think this general cut is really nice for just like a basic tank top. They'll go with everything like the high neck, it's a crop top. I feel like I can wear this with like any pair of pants, any skirt, under any jacket, like literally it'll just match everything. Even with just like a plain pair of jeans, like it's just an outfit in itself, so easy to throw on. So my favorite places to get tank tops like these, I would say are H&M, that's where this one's from obviously. Zara also has great basic pieces, and honestly, Amazon too. Like this bodysuit is from Zara. I had a moment where I was wearing this literally all the time. Similar cut with the high neck, but not a crop top obviously because it's a bodysuit. Also, it's super comfortable, and Zara has a ton of colors in these. And this one is a little bit more of like a elevated version of your plain tank top. It's just like a neutral color, but it has this little like underwire design on it. This is from Princess Polly. Similarly, you can never go wrong with just a plain white t-shirt. Once again, it literally goes with anything and it's great for layering. Like you can wear it with a nice blazer over top, with a nice pair of jeans. You can dress it up with heels, dress it down with sneakers. Literally so many possibilities of this. This one is from BP. BP has some good basic t-shirts, I would say. This one is so comfortable. I actually got this pretty recently and I don't know how I didn't have one sooner, but just like a plain white button up, first of all, it goes with literally everything. Honestly, you could like wear it as a button up, like actually button the button, tuck it into like a nice pair of jeans. But what I've been loving recently is wearing it open with like any kind of fun top, like a bra top or over top of like a sundress. I think that is so cute for summer. You can wear it as like a jacket kind of, but like obviously it's a lot lighter than a jacket, so it's great for summertime when it's super hot out. Like for this, I wouldn't recommend getting a super fitted one. You kind of want something a little bit more flowy. This is also just like a cotton blend, but I feel like a linen one would also be great, especially if you're like wearing it at the beach and stuff. Honestly, a lot of possibilities with this, but definitely it's gonna be a summer staple for me. Okay, so moving on to some dresses. I think there are two dresses that you absolutely need in your closet. The first one is just a plain black dress. This one is about as simple as it gets. It's just like a ribbed bodycon dress. This is from Zara. Honestly, like it's very simple on its own, but it can be dressed up in so many different ways with like fun jewelry, a fun jacket. You can make it a lot nicer with heels or dress it down with some sneakers. Like literally a plain black dress is gonna be your best friend. Like you can wear them in any situation and it'll always look cute. I also think that having a good midi dress is a great addition to your closet. Cause first of all, they're a lot easier to wear than like a short mini dress. Like you can wear them to work and you don't have to worry about it being too short. They're comfortable to wear on the go. You don't have to worry about flashing anyone. And I feel like they just like look very sophisticated. Also, obviously similar to the black dress, they can be easily dressed up or down. This one I think would look so cute with sneakers, but also like I could easily wear it with heels and make it like a full fancy outfit. I think it'd be so cute. This one is from Zara. Clearly guys, I love Zara. Zara has like the best closet basics. Like so many things in this video are from Zara. As for jackets, I would say a leather blazer is gonna be your best friend. Personally, if I had to choose one jacket to have, it would be a leather blazer. It goes with literally everything. Like leather in general is like obviously gonna match everything. And I think at least for like this time, the blazer look is so in. This one is from Princess Polly. It is a extra small small, but it does have a bit more of like an oversized look. My favorite way to wear these is over top of like a side dress or something. However, it can also like, you can wear it over top of just like jeans and a plain shirt and you got a whole look going on with some heels too. Like that would be like a full outfit. Okay, moving on to pants. I would say there are four pairs of pants slash bottoms you absolutely need in your closet. The first one is a good pair of denim shorts. These are thrifted Levi's. So comfortable, timeless, great for summer. They're also a tiny bit in the longer 
darker side, which I feel like is a little bit more on trend right now and a bit more timeless as well. You can wear them for years. You're not gonna wear your booty shorts for years on end. Some other great stores to get jean shorts, I think, are Zara, Pool and Bear. I'm not sure how to say it, but I think it's called Eagle. Any of the brands Revolve carries, they have some good shorts too, but I think Levi's and Zara are my favorite place to get jean shorts. For jeans, the more like relaxed, wide leg look is the most in right now, I would say. But in terms of washes, I think you need a medium wash and a pair of white jeans. So both of these are like a wider leg. These medium wash ones are from Pool and Bear. I think they're called the 90s straight leg jeans. They have some slight distressing, but nothing too intense. Can easily be dressed up or down. Like I wear these all the time and they're so comfortable. And then also a great staple for jeans is just the white pair of jeans. These are from Zara. In terms of jeans, at least for me, my favorite places to get them are obviously Zara, Pull and Bear, Revice, and Levi's. They all have super great pairs of jeans. I think like the cut kind of depends on your personal style. I like the wider, looser fitting jeans. I think it makes me look taller. However, kind of up to whatever kind of cut you like the best. And last but not least for pants, you need a pair of leather pants in your life. You're gonna wear these so much. I wear them all the time. They are the perfect going out pair of pants. Any nice dinner, any nighttime activity, these are literally gonna be your best friends. These ones from Maritzia, they kind of went viral on TikTok and I think it was totally warranted. Like these are my favorite pair of pants ever. They fit so well and they literally match everything. I've worn them pretty casually with like a t-shirt and sneakers, but also very easy to dress up too with like a nicer top and some heels. The possibilities for these are seriously endless though. Like I think definitely a closet necessity. For shoes, you definitely don't need much. I would say my most worn pair of shoes is just like a white pair of sneakers. These ones I probably wear the most. They are just like these platform kind of cream colored off-white Converse. Being like a neutral color, they literally match everything. I wear them with jeans, I wear them with dresses. Honestly, the possibilities are endless with these. Definitely my most worn shoe by far. As for some nicer shoes, I do think a good pair of black booties is gonna be a good piece to have in your wardrobe. Easy to throw on, a lot more comfortable than heels, but also still like a little nicer. I believe these ones are Steve Madden. They are so old, I've had them for years, but I literally wear them all the time. They have a nice little chunky platform, so it gives me some height while also still being comfortable, because at the end of the day, the heel isn't that high, it's just the platform. And I would say if you're gonna spend money on one pair of heels, it should be a pair of strappy, black heels. Also this kind of mule style specifically I think is like pretty timeless, kind of goes with everything. I'm not exactly sure where these are from, but I would say generally for shoes, um, Steve Madden has always been very reliable and I get a lot of my shoes from there. And last but not least in terms of accessories, I think I probably learned this about a year and a half ago, two years ago, but jewelry is so important and i'm not saying like big chunky flashy jewelry but like the jewelry that you're gonna wear every single day in terms of like what kind of metal that is it really depends on your skin tone um i think i have more like yellow undertones so i wear gold but if you have more pink undertones for example silver jewelry is the way to go so choose a metal tone you could switch it up but usually people tend to choose silver or gold and then get a bunch of simple pieces in that and just wear them every day so like i wear all these bracelets every day. I wear most of these necklaces every day. These rings every day. And I get a lot of it from Etsy too. I think Etsy is the best place to get nice jewelry. You can get gold filled stuff so that won't tarnish at all, will never dull up. Gold filled jewelry on Etsy for like half the price you can get at like those really famous jewelry stores. I got like all these rings from Etsy. These two gold chains are from Etsy. I think all of these bracelets are from Etsy except for the beaded ones. But yeah, they're all gold filled. So I wear them in the shower, I wear them when I work out, literally 24 seven, and they will never tarnish because they're gold filled. And Hope you all enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I post new videos every single Saturday. I also have an Instagram and a TikTok, both at Ella underscore Elbells. So be sure to follow me both of those, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!